Antoine Health from New Edge USA is joining us live in studio. You just heard me run through the numbers. We're right. seeing some pressure there uh, in reformulated gasoline. Your thoughts, your reaction? Well, as you said, it's unexpected. Uh, we expected uh, crude to, to build and the products to bid very lightly, to draw. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the opposite. So that's extremely negative for refining margins, which have been under pressure for the last few weeks. And what that means is that it increases the likelihood that refiners will cut back. Uh, we had actually, uh, just in the last few days, news that some uh, major refinery uh, capacity would be shut down in, uh, on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. The prospect for more of that to happen uh, has increased dramatically. Um, it sounds like demand is not recovering. Uh, I haven't seen the detail of the, of the data, but the, the building products suggests that demand is still extremely weak. Mm -hmm. So that does not very, bode very well for the underlying economic recovery. Uh, even, by the way, when the economy does turn the corner uh, in a big way, I don't think we're going to see the type of uh, demand reaction that we have been accustomed to in the last few years. Now, apart from gasoline, when you look at crude, your target here, you're thinking about $60 a barrel. Right, right. That's right. Uh, when are we going to hit that? Well, I think we're going to hit that by the end of the year, uh, barring any major geopolitical event. But I think, as I said, that refiners will cut back on, uh, on, um, on runs, on activity, on refining activity. Uh, at the same time, we really don't see any uh, shortfall in supply. You know, many analysts had said with the lower price, the credit crunch and so on, you're going to see a decline in investment, mm -hmm. uh, a shortfall in, in, in production. Uh, that's not happening. Uh, U.S. crude production is at a record high for this time of year, of many years. Uh, Russian production, which everybody had been expecting to decline, is actually rebounding and, and rising uh, to new highs. Uh, so we, we don't see any uh, shortfall of supply. Demand is not recovering, and that doesn't bode very well but for But you're here talking yeah. about the fundamentals, and it that's seems right. like the market is so focused on true. currencies right now. That's and, true. and that's what seems to be moving money well, into that, this. You're absolutely right, and that's probably been a, a major driver. That being said, uh, this relationship or reverse relationship between currencies and, uh, and um, commodities and particularly energy mm -hmm. is not something that's written in stone. It's a, it's a short-term strategy which is fairly unproven and it kind of assumes that the fundamentals of oil support it. You know, if, 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 you, if the fundamentals of your commodity uh, are very bearish, it doesn't really suggest that the underlying value of the commodity will continue to, to go up or will be resilient and that undermines the, uh, the appeal of your commodity as a hedge. Well, how do you position yourself around that then? I mean, it, it seems like the rules are sort of getting thrown out the window in the short term. Yes and no. I mean, at some point, I think the fundamentals do reassert themselves. And when? Uh, well, what ha what's happening now in the U.S. is that storage is getting full. Mm -hmm. Now, product storage is getting full. Um, distillate stocks are at market highs and since in 26 years, perhaps more now. Um, and we're running out of space to store the product. And there's still demand for the product because of the shape of the futures curve. The contango supports it. You, know, you, can, you can put it in storage and, and hedge it, and you, you pocket the difference. But at some point, the, the front price will come down, and the, and the price further down the curve will come down as well. All right. Thank you so much for coming into studio and giving us your instant analysis. Uh, it's Antoine Half of New Edge USA.